Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. For today, I am using the Fab Scraps box C132 and it's called That First Sip and it's just a gorgeous box. Go ahead and check my unboxing last week, uh, which I will link and then you can check out what's all in the box. You can obviously get this box uh, as is or then get some of the parts of it depending on what you like. I'm using some Stamperia Glamour paste. This is a texture paste that is gold and it is the most shimmery texture paste I've seen. Um, and I, I mean, I don't necessarily think that I've seen a lot, but I've seen a few. So I wanted to cover this wavy stencil and therefore use the card as opposed to the uh, silicone brush just because I wanted to cover a larger portion and I attempted to stamp off some of the remainder of the paste on this stencil onto the white pieces but it actually dries so fast that it didn't stamp off a lot and it just looks like I messed <laughs> but nonetheless I, I quite liked the effect of it and uh, the stencil is just gorgeous for background stenciling and especially with a texture paste so having dried that all I'm now going to work on my layering so I cut from the fussy cut sheets all of the elements and now I'm just looking for some of the beautiful parts of this. Uh, well, all of them are beautiful, but I mean beautiful flowers <laughs> that I could use in these two corners um, and working out reading what the verse says and what then would be applicable to it. And the reason why I chose the specific verse is because really I wanted to speak about the specific there was a specific phrase in the fussy cuts that said or card sorry in the fussy cuts that said do something today that you're passionate about and I really when I thought about that I was thinking of doing everything with passion and passionately and this verse in 1 Timothy uh, 6 speaks of the, the be, having that passion in all we do doing it all you know as unto the lord running that full race fighting that good fight of faith and that's why i used this specific verse and i loved that i am kind of passionate about coffee if you didn't know that <laughs> so passionate about coffee and in that same kind of equation i then put doing this mantra in 1 Timothy 6 verse 11 and 12 um, so it tells you what to pursue it tells you to pursue things like godliness gentleness faith and love and so righteousness was also one of them and I then in my mind connected those things the coffee and these beautiful things and I <laughs> that was a horse in case you didn't know I'm doing my voiceovers where my daughter's doing horse riding because at the moment it's the only quiet place I can find all of the other places in my house are filled with some or other person <laughs> so we are in lockdown that is what it's about and so I'm just building these kind of clusters, these kind of layers to this page to kind of make a frame around the verse that I want to write out. And I'm using my Oba glue for some of these ones, especially the ones over the stenciling, because I want to get that, um, that element glued down to in between the stenciling as well. And then for the other ones, I'm using the white craft glue by Fab Scraps. Um, just sticking down those elements so once I've got all of the kind of framing done I've got I'm left with this white space in the middle that I then want to use to write out my verse um, and I chose to write out my verse you of course can use anything to write out um, and make a big title if you want to uh, you can do it however you want to but I decided that I'm going to this horse is really fooing all the time here <laughs> and um, just drawing with a soft pencil not too soft that you would have to um, work really hard to get the lines out and not too hard that it would make indents um, 
yeah that's the kind of pencil i'm using so i'm planning out which words go where <laughs> it's hilarious i am just trying to compose myself <laughs> so um i'm planning out the words i do want to do some different kind of writing styles and pencil or pen sizes um, to do these words but I'm writing and planning it out with my pencil to see what goes where so that I don't squish everything onto the last little bit if I run out of space so that's the reason why I don't go into it with my uh, pen straight away uh, like here I'm measuring how I'm gonna fit everything in so I do use a dust-free eraser by Goldfarber, Faber-Castell Goldfarber eraser because it really according to me erases very well over these um, written textures etc etc so I'm using ended up using a dark sepia and a sanguine color uh, in the pet artist pens in a S M F B and C nib which is all the different nib sizes that you can get well not all of them but some of them um, with different effects then and I'm working out different kind of fonts or writing styles some in cursive some in faux brush lettering um, some in bold letters uh, caps some in small letters so just working it out and making it a little bit more interesting in colors that would match kind of the copper of the coffee pots and coffee cups and then uh, yeah there's that so you'll see that I use the brush nib there for the love so that it has that brush lettering kind of effect um, and I, I, I think I quite enjoyed playing around with all of this and <laughs> yes so you'll see there I made a mistake with writing out the verse in pencil I actually wrote gentleness twice so I did have to sort of adjust my measuring here and that kind of just uh, had me going for a little while so I decided to make bigger you know words in writing that final sentence which says fight the good fight of faith and uh, the C nib which is the create the calligraphy nib um, makes those beautiful kind of big bold and you know down lines and narrow across depending on how you hold your nib. And this is also a uh, C nib, which then gives you that calligraphy kind of look, feel sort of thing. <laughs> so all that to say that I'm writing out my verse um, and I really love this verse as a mantra for myself. Um, it says, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness, and fight the good fight of faith. Uh, God expects us to stand by our beliefs, to pursue the right things according to his word. And uh, I just, like I said, knowing that how much I love coffee, that I would pursue these things as much as I would have my first cup of coffee every morning. That this would be the same kind of time where I would be pursuing these things for each day. Um, and I love that this first sip is kind of a together thing as well <laughs> i love that phrase with the clear stickers that says you can i'm now just filling out the kind of white spaces uh, that still need a little something and i'm using some of the smaller elements from the fussy cutting sheets and then the stickers as well that come with it with the pack with the whole big bulk pack uh, there's where i did the faux faux calligraphy or faux brush lettering where i kind of just added a line on the downstroke for each of those words when putting something over the middle or the binding of this layout cut it so that it doesn't um, make it difficult for you to page open or closed so if you cut it you kind of just make it kiss and it allows that breathing room for paging your pages and here's where I kind of just fill it up with some of the smaller elements my last part of what I'm going to be doing for this page well second to last part is to uh, make a tab for this page so that I can find it easily and I just took some of the fussy cut sheets leftovers and punched out two of these putting them back to back 
and sticking them on the top of the page then. It wouldn't be complete without splatters so I'm taking a, a small fan brush and adding a lot of water to this fine tech watercolor which is a pearlescent watercolor it's made with real mica um, with with real mineral powders uh, or grindings and so that bronze is really very powerful and it's got beautiful shimmer wish I could show you the shimmer on camera but you'll have to see for yourself so there's the finished page thank you so much for joining me and thanks for this gorgeous box isn't it beautiful see you soon bye bye